Alright, welcome back to the Triple H Burial Simulator. Also known as Shovel Knight. Well, this is Sally Forth to the Lair of Treasure Knight. Hey, giant fees. Yeah. Really good level design here. I really, like, this whole game is so good, and I'm glad that it finally went on sale on the 3DS and Steam, that way, you know, more people actually got a chance to play the game. Yep, myself included. I, I, I enjoy this game wholeheartedly. It's not a very long game, but you know what, with the promise of, uh, free DLC further down the line, there's a lot to look forward to in this game. Yeah, boss rush and play as shield knight. I can't wait. Yeah, um... Eh, maybe we'll show off uh, a little of that in a, like, a bonus video or something when that eventually comes out. Well, I, I will, will actually be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> there will be so no bonus do what I did for... yeah. So you're basically gonna do what I did for Metal Gear. Exactly. Oh uh, yeah, and then you got these guys that throw the not the not the top. You just said no, nope, no, nope. I, I can get invincible. Bye. Yeah, I mean, again, facing amulet, one of the, like the best tool in the game, next to the Icor chalices. I don't know, man. Yeah. When we get to that the uh, propeller blade, I really like that. I haven't played this game yet. I only got it on a Steam sale two days ago and haven't gotten a day off of work since. You, you'll enjoy it, Matt. It's it's a lot of fun. It's especially since you like DuckTales, right? Then you'll like Ooh. this. Yeah, still a bad thing that I refuse to do anything less than the hardest mode. Yeah, and we have to make you fuck that. You're gonna keep waiting until I do it. Ugh, these things. The tentacles here. It wasn't that bad. No, I just remember there's this one room. I don't know if you go to it, but... You basically have to plan out your jumping priority because you want to use these as makeshift platform. So, we'll see shock at the platform. No, and that's, it, it, oddly enough, that's not a bottomless pit. It, it surprised me with how thoughtful they were with, like, how, room transitions. What looks yeah. like a bottomless pit really isn't. A lot of the level of design is really good like that. Well, you said you're going to be using the phase amulet that much. Well, for certain parts, yes, I will, because I'm not going to die on freaking spikes. I was... I found it was much more common for me to accidentally jump into a spike that was above me rather than fall onto one. Oh no, it's an anglerfish! I knew exactly which lure to use against you. I actually <laughs> like that uh, sprite work of that fish. Really cool. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it reminds me of a. Mecha Dragon. What the hell the name of that boss was in Banjo Tooie? Mecha Dragon. No, the, the Anglerfish uh, in that. King Fook. Lord Fook. Yeah, that was the one. I hate that boss. You just didn't fight him with the submarine, didn't you? Yes. That's... that's probably why. I just hate that boss, period. Eh... You know, it's a boss with RNGs, so I can see why you kind of... Oh, oh look! A chest. chest! And oh, look! It's Chester! Let's see what he has for us today. As long as he doesn't puke on it, we'll take it. Oh, it's destroying anchor. It's something yeah, that I don't use. Really? I actually That's found right. that really useful, especially against uh, one of the boss fights coming up soon. Ozzy, you've been one to state that, yes, you love weapons that have an upward angle for them, so 
in, I, I don't, in, in a game where you really don't have any other method of attacking in any other direction, yeah, I kind of do. I, You're one of those guys who likes the axe in Castlevania a lot. Yeah, especially, well, it, help, it depends on the game itself, because if you give me a, a weapon that's meant for attacking aerial enemies, then there better be some aerial enemies to use it on. By the way, this is a great idea. Let's write missiles. They make excellent platforms. I think those are more like a torpedo. Yeah, they're torpedoes. How do they work underwater? Magic. This fucker, he just wanted to meet asshole. They should so I was past him. Yeah, so I was an asshole right back. It's still possible to defeat him without, uh, without it. It's tricky though. It's it's a bit like you briefly jump on his head and then you uh, try to swing at his body. Uh, like, the, the other way, way I find that's really good against those guys is when you get the uh, the upgrade to charge up your uh, your swing because that just goes right through them to shields. I oh and I purposely kill myself here. Oh, to get your health back. Health. Yes. It was not because he sucked. Well, maybe it was. We never know. Well, he, he did it so he could just get his health back, which he uh, lost. At, yeah, of but he sucked earlier, so that's why he was low on him. I tell you which, he did just not throw that green shit at Shell Knight. Yeah, but I used the anchor to kill him, so, yeah. But that, again, I can, I just love the utility of the phase amulet, just because you can, uh, phase hover. Yeah, you get, like, a brief moment of just hanging them in air, uh, when you're using it. Yeah, until you get the, the, the one thing that allows you to say, I have that. Yeah, and then there's, uh, there's, uh, the zombie the hover, which is made. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here and hover over this pit until I die. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that one, or at least I haven't experienced it myself. Anyways, okay, it's boss room. fight time. Yep. Boss it's transition. Treasure butt. It's a knight right out of Bioshock. Yeah, it, it kind of is, actually. This boss fight uh, gave me a little bit of trouble my first time. Just because he's, he's faster than he looks. Treasure Knight isn't that much of a much of a challenge. Plague Knight is a challenge. Yeah, Plague Knight, just because Plague Knight's all over the place. <laughs> and he's basically Michael Bay Knight. Though, this is what caught me off guard. Nope, nope, I don't want to play the special chest, and he takes 500 gold. You can't get it back. I mean, it's cool that they're scheming to this guy, like, literally, he's after your treasure. But at the same time, no, my money! Give it yeah, back! they greedy asshole. <laughs> and, then, and then you took his wallet. Hey. Yep. King people for the money. Hero that's that that is how that's what it is. They just took the asshole's wallet. <laughs> no dream. No dream this level. No, but it only happens. Fires. It only happens after you beat all the bosses, and then you unlock the next area of the map. Wait, uh, who is this? Our brother. Let's go kick his ass.
Uh, well met. Raise? How do you say? How do you say? Okay, Rise is one of the four wanderers. The four wanderers are four special boss fights within the game. And put from the directors of the day. Directors of the day? Yes. This was a Kickstarter funded this And four people got to put in four characters as special boss fights. Wait, did they design them themselves or did they have like a list picked from? No, they literally designed everything about the character themselves and the guys put in the pixel work for them. Huh. Yeah, so they uh, obviously this was anime trope number one to the list. I don't oh, know, I like, like the idea of this guy. Yeah, I'm he's not just... really good. No, I, I, I like the idea that there's basically these boomerangs all over the place, though I did notice here that he can't fire off another attack if those boomerangs are still going all over the room, which yeah. kind of simplifies him a bit. Personally, I, 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 if there was this much work into the characters that it on how they fought, it would have been cool if they as well would have been playable characters. Yeah, well, I, I, wonder, I am wondering if they are planning to do anything with these guys in uh, DLC later. Maybe, who knows? Yeah, um, like, like I said, they were planning on releasing several free DLC, so there's all, no telling what they might come up with, or heck, they might even surprise and say, Hey, we're ready for round two? That'd be pretty cool. 